Uh, yep, yep. We're going into the the really bad times because now, like, we do if we do one thing wrong, we're probably getting shot. Uh, we're at that point now. We're in unknown territory now. Yeah, we don't even know what's going on. All we know is that the gloves have come off. And now our gloves are coming off. Oh, then again, I've been throwing punches this whole time. Yeah. It's just now they might retaliate. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare whenever you do something wrong. It's just going to be a guard coming in. <laughs> It's just gonna be the last broadcast. I have to do everything advanced says, or it's just a guard comes up behind me and hits me with a punch. Yeah, like there's, there's a guard in the room who just has a gun to the back of your head, <laughs> and you just keep hearing him whisper, "Do it! I dare you! Make my day!" <laughs> you feeling lucky, punk? Well, are you? There it is. So literally one day later. Fortunate response. Yeah, we're going back home. Uh... Oh, it's the same night. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we're going home same night. Yeah. Imagine if we let our daughter go on vacation on holiday, you know? It would be terrible. Well, you know, now you know I was right. So how dare- so never again question our, our authority. isn't that simple because we can try then we'll die <laughs> then they take all the money and you all starve to death you know I love the fact right now that everybody is now starting to see everything well, my way uh, hold at on, least hold Sam on, is uh, only the wife is the, we're going really far now yeah okay it's been a year uh, advance has taken over the world uh, they Okay. Oh no. Another one's gone missing. Oh, uh, yep. Yep. Guess what, Brown? We have become Winston. Ah, uh, yes. The professor went missing from Queen's Does, doesn't that remind you of uh, one of Stalin's purges? That reminds me of one of Stalin's purges. It's clearly disrupt targeting people speaking out against them. I heard Advance are struggling to correct further. A deep, familiar voice behind you interrupts. What exactly is going on here? <laughs> Boatsman. <laughs> I've told you, I don't want to hear about these so-called disappearances. Yeah, these this fucking get- I mean, the, uh, to, to give credit to Bozeman, he just doesn't want to get shot. I can respect that much, at least. Yep. Bozeman holds a hand up to you as everyone else files out of the room. Things are different now, yeah, I, I, true. It fence runs the show. They've made their feeling perfectly clear. And now I'm doing the same. Channel 1's official position is that the government has things well in hand. Nothing more, nothing less. I well, trust I won't be hearing talk about this again. No, you will. We're getting shots for you. Public ownership is now in full swing. Man, you know, I just... I really want to hear, you know, and we're going in further. Well, I'll... going what further. The hell? Going further. A few months, a few months later. Uh, hmm. Oh, don't know. 
it's your sad <laughs> evening too as well. Exactly, do they do? I really want to know what they do. What? Only bad people, huh? that much power trains people against each other. Oh, uh, we're going to the gulag. I'll kill my own son if I have to. Now I support that decision. It's clear he, he's too far gone. He can't save him. I tried now, where's to Susie? This. Now, where's Susie? Probably working in the transition center. Probably already took the grandma. Right! Yeah, she probably killed grandma by now. True. So, what's happening here? Across the country at Lord of Swamp's farmland went up in flames last night. It's part of what the authorities are calling a heinous, well planned act of terrorism by the group known as Disrupt. Okay, now I guarantee you, Advance did this, and they just had disrupted it. Like this, it's they're just using them as a scapegoat, as they just you know do shit just to it's make a them false look flag. Bad. Yeah, false flag. Yeah. In addition, food stores, which the government sources have said, will put a strain on universal menu centers countrywide. A number of CCO and civic buildings were targeted in last night's attack. Specific prisons. Re-education re and betterment facilities were raided. A small section of problematic and potentially dangerous individuals were forcefully extracted from lawful custody. Hmm. What are Chris's? The, the CCOs were ill-prepared for an event like this, and disrupts seem much more effective and well-organized in comparison. were poorly staffed when they came under attack. 17 CCOs and four administrative staff lost their lives as a result of through actions of this rough. There's 21 lives injured. A few disruption members were captured during the conflict, but the vast majority have evaded capture so far. Absolutely not. Nothing is going on at all. I feel like you need to be careful about what you say here, so thanks for showing it to him like a dumbass. It's all going fine, buddy. He's gonna report us, man. Oh yeah, definitely. He probably scribbled that down in his notepad. I honestly thought it was gonna be that like I somehow screwed up and didn't stop him from joining the youth group, and it caused him to die in that raid. I thought it was going to be like, one's already down. <laughs> like, it's all Sam's fault. It really is. We tried to stop him. Yeah, we tried to stop him, but no, she, he, but you know, as a kid does, it's like, uh, one says no, just go to the other and don't even tell them about what it is. I Fucking... probably told her to sign the field trip permission slip and she just signed yeah. it without even knowing yeah, yeah yeah you know it's like you know we're going you know here's a permission slip for a field trip and reality yeah, but in reality it just you it's it's the uh, you know checking off the report card that the parent has to see but you, you don't tell them it's a report card you just hope they don't read it and they just sign it <laughs> uh
Yes. Love it. All right, now, you know, a year and a half since Liberation Night, as they call it. Alex? He's receiving. Uh, Alan. hello? This is Alan James. <gasps> yes! Tonight, Alex, Let's do it! Throughout this broadcast, we're going to ask you to do things that will directly help with this mass protest. Yeah, we're going to do it. Talking to you regularly to Without question. We'll also be hacking you when I can. Do not. Please help get our message out. We're on the verge, Alex. You've always been fair and balanced in your approach to us. With your help, we can tip the balance in our favor. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking get rid of one of those things. It's on your right. He said second break. Yep. Chance to see the very last episode. Cause I don't want to go on a date with your cousin. We're gonna Grimm. die. It'll Have be glorious. My dignity, my reputation. It's all right. Once you get past the teeth and the problematic tattoo. I am perfectly capable of messing up my own love life. Sorry about that. David wouldn't get off the phone. Ooh, is David oh, David's alive. He's alive. Out of it. I can help. Well, you. what change should make him not die? Ex-wives. Please don't set me up with your brother. I'm confused. That's 10 seconds, everybody. You're not this tight, but. Cause, Cause, yeah, because the the when the new cap We changed the going in five, Chris and the four, vacation. Three. So why would he be alive when we only changed those Good two evening. things? This is the National Nightly News. Yeah, like, there's Thursday, really nothing we could have done to change Dave's morning. thing, so I don't really know why. Tonight, Unless he was hanging out with our daughter ashes. for some reason. It's been 40 days since that, disruption. That would be weird. Attacks across the <laughs> the coordinated action, dubbed the Night of Fire by commentators, was seen as an attempt to subvert the supply chain, but there may have been more to it. After a roadside IED toppled the convoy, prisoners, including Portia Hamilton Mann, the daughter of the former Prime Minister, were freed and have subsequently vanished. The escapees are presumed to have fled the territories. Here at Channel One, we say good riddance to bad rubbish. Food, glorious food. With the last of the menu centres opening in territories 5, 8 and 14 today, Advance confirmed that the programme is now in full operation, providing free food for every citizen of the new future. Yeah, what that's started a lie. as rationing during the 20-week war has blossomed into a social contract that is the envy of the unawakened world. Jack Tractorpants, spokesman for the menu centres, said today that while they can guarantee the contents of every box is nutritious, the actual quality of the meals you cook depends on whether you have a touch of Chef Jordan Rankley or the culinary skills of a Jordan. professional footballer. Jordan Rankley, huh? If I were huh? a rich man, problems in territories oh. 11, 17 and 22 today as striking bosses attempted to undermine their new economies. With seemingly no awareness of irony, the former CEOs and MDs have come together to form the Wealth Creators Union, with demands including a return to 150% bonuses, private jets, and mandatory groveling zones. In an annoying show of petulance, the former elites drove their luxury vehicles at 10 miles per hour up and down the motorways of their respective territories. The coordinated protest of elites inconvenienced several hundred thousand of their employees. Some fun now. Signs of ever more resistance to Advance's radical policies today as popular resistance movement Disrupt extended their reach further across the territories. The organization's emblem appeared in every major city across the territories last night in a well-coordinated yep. publicity stunt, which has seen them dominate the headlines. Asked about the impressive display earlier today, Disrupt spokesperson Alan James said that the movement was reaching what he described as a critical mass. A poor choice of words, given recent history. Three of our favorite stories come to an end this evening. First, water conundrum. When rains flooded the former Moobs shaft, now amusement park, many thought <laughs> oh my God. that hundreds of visitors I... would have finally brought an end to the cursed project. But Sophia Remington remained undaunted, as has been typical of her wow. time at the top. Rebranding as Sophia's Moist Splash Palace, the world's wettest water park has been an overwhelming success and was this year's most popular family fun day. Shares in Remington's Fist have soared, bringing a happy and prosperous end to this story. Imagine building a water park, like, over the spot. Yeah, a theme park. Yeah, a theme park that, which, oh. you know, there's... 
There don't seem to be any survivors in the remote cave system after a violent conflict broke out about the oh, they're all dead. of a binomial. Well, yeah, they're all dead. Fine. Abandoned by their colleagues on the surface, denied supplies by a world which moved on without them, we have to ask ourselves who's to blame for this crisis. And where Clearly gets advanced. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the that. notorious decline of Johnny Hamsley's finally concluded today when Judge Randall Severity sentenced him to life. Of Man, uh, these storylines, they're, they're really ending. <laughs> the judge described him as a man who had made some entertaining but ultimately poor choices. Johnny plans to set up a prison five-a-side team as soon as he's had the time to carve a whistle out of soap. All that, Oof. plus we'll be taking a trip to Dangly Parts for the notice board, as well as getting Dangly a Parts. ticket in town. That's all coming up on tonight's National Night News. <laughs> It's time. Today is the day we take back control. Soon it will be time for you to help us again. Come out of your houses, block the traffic, bring the capital to a standstill. I've met so many of you in my travels up and down Territory One. You always ask the same question. How can I help? Well, this is how. And as for when, you'll know. Keep watching. And they literally just took one of the earlier things and just cut out but Jeremy first, Donaldson 500 from it. Five days after the loss of a fine leader and a great man, the start of tonight's program is dedicated to remembering and celebrating the life of Peter Clement. Patrick Bannon is He's live. dead. Oh, he's dead. Hello. Hooray! We'll be breaking ground oh. on what will soon be a memorial garden in Peter's honor. Patrick. Listening to that old bitch lying through her teeth about missing that poor uh, bastard. Patrick. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're live. Because I'm not being funny. Things were better with Peter, weren't they? Patrick. They were, and I don't mind saying it. He's getting they shot. Were, because he held her back. But now, now there's no stopping Hello, her. Hello, Patrick. We're well, live. Of course, can't say that, can I, Francis? No, no, no. Not with public ownership. No, with public I'm ownership, you can't say anything Patrick. these days. Oh, she's lost it, mate. She's completely off the rocker. I heard from an aide. But... Hello, Megan. You join me here live from the what? <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. Like yeah, he's king shot. He's dead. He's, he's dead. He's <laughs> he's dead. That's the last time we'll ever see him. Patrick back. <laughs> Meanwhile, let me just say, oh. he's getting replaced. The gardens are going to be gorgeous. I've had a sneak peek at the designs, and Alana Marsh has done a fabulous job. Oh, okay. All right. Seems like we have Sorry got for the Patrick, back. But, uh... We can now go live to Patrick Bannon. Dude, he's gonna, in, you know, Park. in like the Patrick. intermission between this show and the next one, Thank like. You, Megan, I'm Patrick Bannon. And we are indeed oh, no. light here. Apologies for the technical difficulties there, but any moment now, Julia Salisbury will step out on stage behind me. Alex, both of you. The boys in editing have just informed me that the eulogy footage isn't fully cut together yet. You're going to have to do it on the fly. What? For goodness sake, make sure you make them look good. Slowly gathering since this afternoon. <laughs> That's funny. It's time. Really bad. It's time. And it seems like the ceremony is getting underway. Here is Prime Minister Julia Salisbury, the picture of elegance to begin her address. Good evening, fellow teammates and friends. Good evening, fellow teens. 500 days ago, all of our lives changed irrevocably. Still reeling from the triumphs and tribulations of Liberation Night, Another great loss befell the people of these newly united territories. Oh, yeah. The loss we of We know leader, what we're showing. A statesman, a dear friend, and a hero. Peter Gordon Clement. Peter's death at the age of just 62, of course, announced by the team you on... You gotta keep showing the... December, ...just six weeks after Liberation yeah. Night. Born to a working-class family on a housing estate in Rothering, Peter first trained as a carpenter before getting his start on television. First moving and building scenery, and then developing into the personality that we all oh, knew yeah. Do you and loved so yet? much. Just the job first hit our screens over 25 years ago, running for 11 series, mm. winning multiple awards, and charming audiences up and down the country. Peter taught us, all of us, not to be content with the way things are. Not to accept inequities, no matter how small. But he also taught us what it took to fight them. Courage, integrity, 
empathy and hard bloody graft. <laughs> Across a career spanning three decades, Peter Clement was known for shows including Wake Up, It's Saturday, and much later, late night chat show PT, which at its peak drew millions of viewers. <laughs> Peter was by no means a saint. <laughs> Trust me, he once told me he had more regrets than he'd had stolen dinners. <laughs> he always did have a knack for a turn of phrase. But it speaks to the strength of his character that he chose to share with us his mistakes alongside smoke. his achievements, his faults as well as his talents. Peter had the heart to give it all, all he had for the people of these united territories. Famous for his potty mouth, it's estimated conservatively that Peter Clement uttered over 1.5 million swear words during his career. Though some sources put this figure well in excess of two million F-bombs alone. Two million, jeez. By illness as he was in the weeks oh, and months leading one. up to Liberation no, Night. No, no. He wasn't. Oh, that was a good one, loved. yeah. But his eyes still twinkled with that familiar joy for life. That spark of wit and wisdom of a life lived for others. Prime Minister Clement, of course, died from apparent liver failure after suffering from the long-term effects of alcohol abuse. Yeah, it makes sense. I first met Peter nearly 20 years ago. <laughs> Moment before I was supposed to give a speech. Nothing like this one, actually. <laughs> Only I'd, um, I'd spilt coffee all down myself. and I was young, nervous, desperate to be liked, and... And from behind me, I heard, Christ, pet, you've either pissed your kex or sprung a leak, but either way, you've got a problem. <laughs> and before I could even say a word, he stripped off his dry trousers and insisted I took them. <laughs> that was the sort of man that Peter Clement was. Kind, compassionate, sensitive, a brilliant thinker, a natural <coughs> leader, but mostly... A good man. <laughs> this man, uh, nation of ours so when they see that uh, we're going to die. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. There'll be another opportunity to steer public perception soon. It's really starting. You will win. His accomplishments, the future he forged, the, the boundaries he pushed. To me, he'll always be the man in his pants cheering on a stranger at the back of the conference. Okay, that's it a way to say it. It's my great honor to give to you the Peter Clement Memorial Garden. It'd be funny if someone <laughs> fucking spray painted a disrupt symbol Everyone somewhere in there. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh. The yep, show, start showing it. I'm not leaving, I can't! Come with me! Don't panic! No! Are you hurting me? Well, stop resisting then! Stop resisting and we'll let you up! I'm not resisting! Ah! Fuck what are you, you doing? I'm not resisting! You all saw! I'm not resisting! I'm the Prime Minister! I'm trying to give you up! Turn the camera off! We're National Night that. News, we have the right to be here! I said turn the fucking camera off! Switch camera. Oh, I can't hear you. I, I can't hear anything. Yes, you can. Medics are coming. You sit down. I can't hear you. I'm from the National Night. That's Patrick Bannon. Oh, Bannon. Oh. Salisbury's still here. <laughs> Junior Salisbury! You were guilty of the murder of more than 10 million people. Target on. Just target on. Demand a response. Haven't you done enough? Switch. Look around you. Fucking this is time. what your precious freedom looks like, is it? On the fire. This is our territory. Rise up. Take to the streets. The time has come. Stop fire. Break windows. Draw them out. They can't stop us all. Resist. Destruct. Blow your weapons. Yeah. 
Yep. This is a kill. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Will you turn that off, please, sir? I said, please turn that off. Shocking. Well, a lot, a lot just happened. Is this not enough? You've just seen them execute unarmed civilians, people like you and me. So why are you watching this? Why are you not in the streets with us tonight? What will it take for you to get up and be a part of this? March on team headquarters, storm the building, demand elections, demand answers. Be what you were born to be, the once and future free. No way. We'll be back after this. YouTube's just not going to like this game. I'm going to be honest. Thank you, Alex. From all of us, you're doing great. Love to help you. Alan <laughs> and James really did a great job there. It's different tonight. This is the big one. Great. So there's a revolution happening outside and we're off to dangly fucking parts. That's journalism, apparently. Can we get set for the next sequence? Huh? Man, uh... <laughs> I was expecting graffiti and we got a bomb. Jeez. cameraman working in the newsroom who's one of us is going to get a coded location out. We don't know oh. which camera he's on, but if we find out, I'll let you know. Just keep your eyes out for the fist and try and keep it on the ear for at least five seconds. Okay, well, we'll, 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 rest. we'll make sure to do that. We'll make sure to do that. Now, I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom. Keep going. All right. Oh my god, Jenny! What? No, no look, look at it! That's ten seconds, everybody! Just leave this with me, yeah? Excuse me? I know where we should go with this. Going in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News with me, Megan Wolf. Very shortly, we'll be taking our daily trip down to the village for the notice board. But first, let's have a quick catch up with Mr. Jeff Deplume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Listen up, you lot. We need to get a few things straight. Everything OK, Jeff? You're not exactly fans of what we're trying to do in here. You've made that perfectly clear. So what's going, what's going on, Jeff? I'm just having a little word with the viewers, Megan. Don't worry yourself about it. Now. Jeff. Seems like you've forgotten where you are, Jeff. Which is a shame. A real shame. Now tell me, Jeff. We just heard our man's on camera four. As you know, Megan, we do our, our, our segment on the show mm -hmm. every Get back to the interview, Alex. It's increasingly clear to me that nobody likes it. Will you say that? I don't have to. You should see some of the letters I get. <laughs> Oh, I would love to see some of those letters personally, uh, Jeff. Well, luckily, I brought them all with me here. Yeah. You're a you're a very small man, aren't you? Yeah. Now, there's been a lot of misunderstandings. Uh, Excellent work, Alex. That's the location shared. Next, you need to give them a go. If it's all right with you. Well, yes, our viewers are our top priority, so I think that's a good idea. True, I couldn't agree more. Mm. Right, uh, ah, yeah, this one annoyed me. Mm. Dominic from Rantley wrote, um, <clears throat> Dear arrogant, talentless oaf. I think it's addressed to Tommy, but still. You're not funny, you're annoying, and I wish you'd all go and live in the sea. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, God. It's going to be hard to yeah. hear, isn't it? What would you say to Dominic? Yeah, I'd say that three screenwriters awards and a TV Digest nomination beg to differ. He's brought them with him. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of that lot agree with Dominic. <laughs> It does look that way, doesn't it? Yeah, what have we got? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Janet from Sanford wrote, uh, fuck off, Jeff. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, how do I give the go? What have we got? Um, the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, this one. Um, what have we got? Blah, 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 Philippa's talent, yada, yada, Tommy's fine. And here we are, here we are. But you, Jeff, are the most pointless waste of airtime since 
the test card. Hang on, this one, dear genius. Hey! Your show is the greatest waste of time. Never mind. Right, fine. Uh, uh... Oh, right, yeah, this one. Someone's drawn a picture in what I assume is, is ketchup next to my home address with a message that just reads, you're a shitty, shitty man. Quite good. <laughs> Uh, this one simply reads, I want watch this rubbish, hey. um, which I assume is, is a spelling mistake, but either way, it's just very confusing. Yeah. Uh, fuck off. Oh, I read that. Yeah, so... Man, so Jeff Algebra's getting shit on a lot nowadays. Strong, yeah. I would yeah. say, Jeff. What, what do you want to say to uh, people at home? I would say there's an easy Bruce. explanation, Megan. Yeah? As you know, we are unbelievably funny in here, yeah? So it seems to me quite obvious that certain people upstairs are so unbelievably bad at their jobs... Oh, careful now. Yeah, okay. Or, and I think this more likely, are deliberately trying to ruin the show. Alex Winston, you just be glad that security won't let me up there anymore, all right? So you're blaming... You Winston know, I didn't realize our guy's last name was Winston when I said earlier we'd become am, Winston. Yeah. They're making yeah. like a bunch of yeah. tricks out there, Megan. Man. Listen, while our skill... They, did, they had to have done that on purpose. <laughs> led to some... Sloppy segments. I really don't think that's fair. Yeah? Well, I think that's bullshit. Mm. You go then and get ready. Whew, that was Jeff DePlume there, creator and writer of the notice board. Just a reminder, if you do have any comments or criticism about Jeff, you can send those in. He clearly reads them all, so please do keep them coming. But now it's time, maybe for the last time, to head over to the notice board. <laughs> Fuck the notice board. Fuck these people. No oh, Tommy Harris. Get all the braids. Yeah, why? Ever since the sports board fucking thing, he lost. Ah. It just went oh. downhill. Oh, fuck, fuck. I've forgotten the line. Can we go again? Can we? Okay. We're live. <laughs> Do I have like two <laughs> seconds to pick or something? Oh, I again. See the red thing. What it's a day! What a day! Uh, first a team morning, and then to post this notice. So at some point, there's gonna be a before. fist, right? Oh, <laughs> Ari did that. Perhaps okay, Ari did that. I'm waiting for them to send the go. Oh, for sake! Do you know what to do when they send the go? Is all this? I don't know how to send the go. Bag. Oh, oh no! Uh, shit! Laura. Uh, it's, uh, I, I thought you were um, a knife-wielding mugger or stabber. I'm afraid not. It's just me, a community cohesion officer responsible for keeping crime at record lows. Of course, oh, I keep forgetting you suck. that thanks to you and your team, violence in our streets is a thing of the past. Everything we're doing right now, Charlie's just writing down in his fucking diary. It's flights against the government. Oh. Okay, okay. Careful, Vicar. It looks heavy. Ha! Now don't call me the right reverend. So yeah, we just keep hitting boots until it works. It's no good. Looks like all those crucifixes are wasting time. Again, baby. We're booing. Maybe you, a young CCO, will be able to lift it. Two for two. Fantastic. Looks like all of those One more. glasses were a waste of time. It's too heavy, even for me. Strong, you did it, Alex. We're good to go. To lift this. Did someone call for the best Keep booing. in town? <laughs> Thank you, Captain Evans. You're so much stronger than us. Especially me. The weak old man. It's the least I could do for my community. You know, I... Oh, you suck. I think I just heard a bomb go off outside. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. No luck catching the little devil, then? Unfortunately not. 
The ferret struck again last night when Ray opened the post office this morning. Yeah, there's another one. That yeah. Every single stamp had been pre licked. My God! Some people have no decency. Sadly, if we don't catch him before tomorrow, we may have to cancel the village fate. Another one, yeah. Don't worry. We won't let that happen. Will we, Vicar? No, no. Laura, tell me, why do they call him the ferret? Some say it's because of his sneaky nature, but really it's because whenever he strikes, he always leaves behind the foul stench of urine. Never fear, officer. We'll catch this pissy nuisance and save the village fate, or my name's not Captain Danger Evans. You suck. The community cohesion team are doing their best, but they simply don't have the smarts to solve this mystery. But I know someone who does. Someone who's about to blow this thing wide open. <laughs> Me! Blackout! What? Huh. Ah, it's the morning of the fate now. Thanks to the theatrical convention. I sure hope everything goes to plan. Oh, look. There's Mrs. Craven setting up her cake stall. And look, there's the motorcycle display team setting up for a show that would be too expensive to show on television. I'm setting up the coconut shy. What are you doing, Vicar? Well, first, I'm running the There's an insurrection program, happening and then outside while this is going on, <laughs> just so everyone money. knows. Are you judging the yeah, jams? We I have. Could have possibly. Oh! We're like causing an insurrection to happen. Oh, that sounded like Mrs. Craven! Yeah, I don't think we should be saying it like that on YouTube, you know, given, you know, people's opinions on certain days. Whatever are we to do? Although I feel like we shouldn't be using the word insurrection. I have no idea how to solve this case. Insurgency. I guess we'll have to cancel the fate. Hold it right there, ferret. <gasps> Me? Have you been drinking from the fire extinguishers again? Not yes. you, the vicar. <gasps> I don't know what you're talking about. Reverend! Admit it. You wanted the village fate cancelled so you could have the day off, didn't you? Vicar, is this true? I don't know what you're talking about. Reverend! That's from Admit Austin Powers. It. You wanted the village fate cancelled so you could have the day off, didn't you? Vicar, is this true? Hang on. I don't know what you're talking about. Reverend! Don't oh, stop. Uh, we've, we've got stuck. Let's... Yeah, they got stuck in a loop. Uh, hold it right there, ferret! Me? Have you been drinking from the fire extinguishers again? Not you, the vicar! <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. They're still about. stuck in the loop. Admit it. You wanted the village fate cancelled so you could have the day off, didn't you? Vicar, is this true? I don't know what you're talking about. Reverend! No! I'm so confused. Someone stop this! Where's the... Where's the... Where's the script? Here you are. Admit it, you wanted the fake cancelled so you could have a day off, didn't you? Vicar, is this true? Yes. Mm, I... I already have to work Sundays. I already have to work Sundays. I shouldn't have to work two days a week. Vicar, is this true? I don't know what you're talking about. How did they get here? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're just going to have to cut short the um the final episode of the notice board. There. What? Yeah. Yep. 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 It's really sad, but I think it really has run its course. No, no, no. There's, there's a good bit coming up where I solve the whole thing. It yeah. is a shame. It's a real shame. We would like to thank you all. Thank no, you. Let, let's just just go on with your last bit. Thank Tommy. you. Tommy. Tommy already oh, fucked you off. Late, you late? Right. Right. Fine. I already have to work Sundays. Um, oh, it's something about, um, uh, God fucking <laughs> damn it! So, thanks again to the cast of the notice board. Uh, so much. But for... how did you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, my first clue was the smell. 
over yeah. hundreds of lessons and, and the laughs yeah, over the last right. year and a half. Yeah, that's right. I do smell of fury. Uh, yeah. uh, um, uh, remember when math was very important. The vicar's tongue was particularly yeah, dry. Yeah, that's very important. Math is very important. We'll be so sad to see it go, but at least we ended on a high. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's almost time to take I think they had their own insurrection. We'll be seeing the opening number I'm sure of a they brand just killed new that musical. Man. You'll fucking no. this. That's coming up after these messages. Yeah. That's the ad. They're going to. Let's strike this set. Just leave it by the bins. Sorry, did that that was a good ad. Happen? Wasn't it amazing? This show will not be the same without him. What advert is this, Alex? I don't remember passing in your broadcast. Yeah, you did. I'm an economist and commentator. I mean, what do you expect me to do here? You've already probably done this. seen me on the news talking about advance. And how progressive their policies Any are. Any one of those people outside could be coming in with well, a gun to shoot us. And I'm here tonight to say I'm sorry. That person literally walked back to, uh, past us twice. Push, Alex. We're closing in. One of the guests in the last section is working with us. You'll be asked to censor on our behalf. If you do it right, the final orders will be given. We'll get three chances. Get at least two of them right, and we're going to win this thing. It's happening, Alex. Tonight we take it back. I always Something's gonna go wrong. Who had so right. much more. <laughs> Over the years, my jealousy grew. So when Advance came feeling. to power, I didn't think about the damage they would Something do. Something seems wrong here. I. I acted yeah, I mean, I'd, I'm, I'd say just roll with it anyway. So. I was glad so. to see the rich punished. <laughs> I didn't see how backwards Advance were. I didn't understand that rather than tearing down the wealth creators. We should have been helping everyone else to take a seat at their table. Under advance. Yeah, that's kind of like how, you know, the side of the ideologies get it wrong. Ambition. They just want everyone to be poor, poor in instead of everyone being rich. We are infantilized by advances, naive policies. Policies Please, born Sarah, from anything. Oh, Mom, I'm really not supposed absurd, to say. redistributive Hi. fantasies. I'm uh, Johnny just said to ask for the new day such up. I have hoard myself Would out you? to the media to defend the indefensible. That's my shade, is it? Uh, yeah, I have betrayed my This is my, my shade. I see that now. Mum. Dad. I'm I'm sorry. Back to Jenny now. Our only hope. Wow. Sorry about hmm. that, Sarah. The only Nothing hope. Tell me. At all, like at all. Now so lies. Died, that's all I can say. With Ten seconds. What's wrong with you? She is in tears. Ugh. Going in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly Megan's News. Megan's probably the Later one working for this segment, segment, to be honest. We're hoping to be able to go back to Patrick Bannon at the scene of tonight's shocking disrupt attack. But first, I'm delighted to be joined by the cast of the smash hit musical everyone is talking about. I'll be speaking with the cast in a moment, but first, 13 and a half. <laughs> Please give a warm National Nightly welcome to the Novaries. Hello. Oh no. Doctor? Yes. I see. Thank you for letting me know. I have a decent life. I'm a happy, loving wife. And my job is well paid and fulfilling. I have a husband, John. He's due home soon, won't be long. And I have to tell him something that is absolutely true. We share coffee in the morning And we make love every day We take time alone together To talk and laugh and play We prioritize our needs We do charitable deeds Something's Plus the frozen. Our needs. Uh, yeah, every, every time the game freezes I, I end up seeing your Discord <laughs> Darling John, oh dearest John, there's something very wrong. I've just had a conversation with our Dr. David Wong, so please be seated. Wong's this news dead. will make you feel defeated. The scans revealed a lot. You, you poor unlucky chum. Is it cancer? Worse of John, having a baby. How can this be? Oh, woe oh, is me. me. Why has this happened to me? I always wear two condoms for the maximum of safety. safety. In a tiny <laughs> flat, we built a peaceful I think I just habitat. missed something. Now our lives are fucked with having, having a baby. baby. 
pretty sure Alex, well not Alex, Alan, jo Alan James will fucking tell you something before it's about to happen. Well, he mentioned that we are supposed to be censoring something for him. But I don't know if well, I will actually see it. I feel like they would give you a visual thing if they did that be dumb. Besides, we have 11 minutes of this section, so there's time. This is my general feelings. Yeah, that's the only real uh, response you can have Amazing. to that. The Novaries there, treating us to their opening number from Energy for a Childless Life, which is currently the hottest ticket in the Capital Theatre District, and we'll be touring the territories later this year. Why the fuck are they here? Why, why are we interviewing them? Used to be. Well. Listen, let's get stuck in. You're an amazing musical. Now, I mean, not only do you perform this show every single night. With matinees on Wednesday Awful. and Saturday. <laughs> right, but you're also the show's creators, am I right? Well, everyone contributed their ideas, and then some of us went away and did the actual work on the script. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's very much a team effort. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> How rude of me. I've not introduced any of you. <laughs> I'll be the one being replaced next. Let's go down the line, shall we? Hi. And hey, don't joke. That'll Jack. actually happen. Jim Blunt. Pleasure Plus, I feel like we're Jim next on the list. Woodley. Hello, I'm John. John Sapley. Used to be in the business professionally. John John Sapley. My name's Jill with a J. And I'm Janet. I'm the youngest. <laughs> That's incredible. Jill with a J. What the fuck else <laughs> would it be? All friends Gee. previously. I mean, what a, what a coincidence, right? <laughs> Who spells Jill with a G? I don't know. Uh, with, with your, Apparently with your her. Names beginning, beginning with a J. That's fucking. That spells Gil, not Jill. <laughs> My goodness, guys! Our names all begin That's an active gunfire. Never noticed. <laughs> I don't worry about that. That's you been going on for a while. thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> you knew. Why didn't you say anything? I thought we all knew. It's bloody obvious, isn't it? I just thought we were doing a funny thing where we never mentioned it. <laughs> and I believe, as well as being friends, you're also couples. You know, so one of these people is the supposed to be a disrupt member. <laughs> oh, well, not exactly. Yeah. I'm not married to him. Uh, <laughs> it's probably the big guy I'm with the beard. Janet. And I'm with John, you lucky bean. <laughs> Jim and I are married. Four fabulous years. <laughs> well, that must make for some confusion in the rehearsal room. Oh, you should have seen the first draft. 
Jen decided that Jack would play Jim, I would play Jack. Jen, Janet, Jill, Jen, Janet, Jill. What about John? Well, my character was originally just called Man One. It was allegorical. It was, it was. very confusing. Not for a professional. <laughs> After much doing and throwing. And gnashing and wailing. <laughs> And gin and tonic, <laughs> <laughs> we decided that we'd just use our own names, which um, is less truthful. Right. We're also less likely to go into the wrong dressing rooms. Oh, God, yeah, that would be very embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, of course, when I first wrote it, we were only meant to run for a few nights at the Nimble Village Hall, but when I registered it with the Department for Culture, mm. it caught the eye of someone high up, and before you could say overnight sensation, we were transferring to the capital! <laughs> it's all been a bit of a roller coaster, really. Yeah. I'm only 19. I'm the youngest. You really don't have to repeat that. <laughs> yeah, you really do don't need to, you fucking to freak. Yes, we all had to move to the capital. <laughs> <laughs> I love that job. It's been a very turbulent time. So peaceful, no singing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely the guy. <laughs> Stand by, Alex. Censor the orange. Oh, yep. Yep, told you. It's the orange, yep. And why you shouldn't have them. <laughs> In a way, I guess it is political, with a small p. After all, we are a solid unit, and eagle-eyed audience members will see we nod our heads to advance on stage throughout, and we target the messaging at women aged 22, well, about 35, as they're the most likely to be afflicted by this terrible problem. Terrible problem. Having children. You understand, Megan. You clearly agree. Wow, this isn't about okay. this. Of course, we see that there are advantages to a family unit, but eagle-eyed couples watch as the little parasites advance on their lives, and there's no time to play the guitar, get through a book, or watch a movie. They're exhausted, passed out on the couch by 20 to 9, for God's sake. You're very chatty tonight, dear. Usually I'm the chatty one, because you're the youngest, we know. Oh, she's the... a badge of honour, Janet. Oh, she might be, yeah. She might be the, the one. So, could, um, could you just tell us uh, what is the play about? Mm. What happens in yes. it? Well, go ahead. It's a tragedy. Obviously. <laughs> um, Jennifer, myself, and John have their child, and then the story charts the downfall of their hopes and dreams. And there's lots of singing. And dancing. The stream there. A lot. Mm. My character works at a menu centre for a distribution unit. Eagle-eyed, she sees her friend's rapid advance to a pit of despair. Becoming a target for children's TV advertising at the age of 22, she decides to take drastic action. I can't really say more, though. Probably it's fine. said too much. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Let's not spoil the second act for anyone who might come to see it. <laughs> Which should be all of you. <laughs> for too long, we've been told that a life without children is somehow incomplete, that, that children are, are a blessing. Well, I've done the research, and they're not. <laughs> Besides, there's already loads of bastards running around all over the place. So. <laughs> We just want people to have the option of okay, a happy, yeah. All right, everyone support us. everyone on that you side know, uh, just supporting, you know, the slow heat death of humanity, out, you know. Uh, I had an experience with a girl. <laughs> Patrick, all right. Called Julia Jacobs. She was an experiment, I guess, you know, a chance to dip my toes into the art. Well, thank you all so much for coming in tonight. I really hope you keep them dancing in the aisles for many performances to come. The nose is there. And I am pleased to say we can now go back to Patrick Bannon to get the latest from the scene of tonight's <laughs> horrific events. Patrick, you OK? Thank you, Maggot. This is Patrick Bannon reporting from the scene of tonight's devastating Where's the real Patrick Bannon? and symbolic attack. Yeah, probably dead, I'm not going to lie. An attack which I myself have been found myself caught up in. I I'm still a little dazed and a little deaf, Maggot. So I hope you'll forgive me if I seem that it's time to speak with the Prime Minister. Also with a lot of blood on Salisbury, are. that's you. You're yep. still here. The Prime Minister. I couldn't leave. Not, not when there were people that needed help. Any team player would have done the same. Oh my god. I don't Why? deserve praise for being human. Yep, a great time for the game to freeze there. Any team there. player yep. would have done the same. I don't deserve praise for being human. Yes, no accolades here. Or Palisades. I'd uh, pay Things attention. I, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, is the situation now? Are we safe? Uh, yes. Um, the security services perform their duties without hesitation, and I would like to assure the public that although there have been some injuries, there were no civilian deaths here this evening. Just pay attention to the news, dude. 
They just pay attention to the news, it's fine. Did you say no deaths? That's right. No civilian deaths. That's a lie. Just the four disrupt absolutely a lie. law enforcement who were, as always, so cohesive. If I may, I have a message for your viewers. Oh, of course, the camera, there's the camera. Speak there, on, on the camera there. Stay at home tonight. Do not become another casualty of war. Disrupt had their moment, but as the dear departed, they're still winning. I can hear them said, closer. It ends today. And we don't know who's winning. We just hear Thank gunfire you, and explosions. Prime Minister, for those but it's growing closer to us, strength. and they said they're bringing yeah. the fight here. Back to the studio, Megan. Now in the studio with Megan Wolf. Now. I mean, they said that we're going to go to team headquarters. Tonight's horrifying bombing. Maybe you need to get checked out, Patrick. Well, that brings us to the end of tonight's National Night News. But, but oh, we well, you know what to do. Victory is in sight, my friends. You have mobilized. You have come together. From our agents at the television networks risking arrest and getting those words to you, to the many hundreds and thousands gathering to invade team headquarters. As I speak, we are turning the tide. And it is time for change. Tonight we topple their regime, and we also silence their mouthpiece. Channel One. Time to wake up. Out from the shadows, and they are not the overwhelming force mm. that would have you believe. The military have been actioned, and well, it's pretty scary. Yeah, I hope they recognize who we are, and they don't shoot so us on sight. On, because the team has assured this program that the turbulence will soon be over, and we can once again focus our minds on building the new future with equality, fairness. And resources My name is Megan Wolf. I also really hope they don't shoot her. <laughs> Damn it, Alex. Tonight is the beginning of the fall of advance. First jet at 11 o'clock. Fighter jet. They just took out a fighter jet. Yo, um, that is, they are well equipped. Look out for your window, Alex. See what you help make happen. Hey, I feel proud. That's the broadcast station. Uh, I still feel proud, alright? Uh, this is, we did a good thing. I mean, yes, I'm proud, but this is insane. We caused Disrupt to actually bring in a militarized response. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people gonna die. Oh, yeah, 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 they're, yeah uh, they're dead. They're dead. Right. Yeah, they're all dead. There's, there's too many. Oh, Alan! Alan! 